And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Nottingham Forest up against Fulham. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Number 22, Ryan Yates. Number 11, Jesse Lingard. And number 10... The starting 11 for Nottingham Forest, then. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Levin Kurzawa plays with Kenny Tete in the fullback positions. And the striker is a natural finisher, Alexander Mitrovic. And the contest begins. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Mitrovic. Crisp tackling. Morgan Gibbs White. On to Lodi. Kuyase. Now the attack looks promising. Aurier. Well, a goal kick after that poor touch. Kurzawa. Pereira James Possession and patience the watchwords Crossing opportunity That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack And it crossed the touchline so a throw in here Reed And he cuts inside well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Cuts it back. And still looking for space. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. The fans want to see a shot. The outcome is a goal kick here. Palinha read it well Kuyase McKenna on to Lodi
Aurier. Now Lingard. Yates. He's going forward well here. He might yet finish. Sends it back. Kuyate. It look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Harrison Reed. Palinha. Pereira. Reed now. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, let's take another look. And what a build-up to the goal this is. The one and two touch passing is so crisp and accurate, but the keeper should do better in his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Kuyate. McKenna. Aurier. Worrell. And it's with Gibbs White. Opportunity to deliver the cross. An effective challenge. Well, Fulham haven't been able to dominate possession, as those stats tell us. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Emmanuel Dennis. Renan Lodi. Wonderful tackle. Harrison Reid. And Palinha with it. And do they mean business on this occasion? Wonderful chance. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Jesse Lingard Morgan Gibbs White untidy in possession Palinha James well that is how to run at defenders and a fine cross and just too much elevation on the header. Well, he just can't keep it down, but what a good cross that was. As was the movement in the box. He's unlucky on that occasion. Well, nearing the half-time interval, and suffice it to say, they're not making great use of home advantage. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they've been poor in the first half. Their passing's been too slow, their movement's not been dynamic enough. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart! Really important tackle. Kuyate. Well, foul play, says the referee.
Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Alexander Mitrovic, a fine reading of the situation. Ably done by Lingard. Chances on. And it's still on for him. Now what can they do from here? And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Nottingham Forest go! So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's played pretty well, to be fair. He's looked confident and assured on the ball, but he's going to need a helping hand if they are to turn this around in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Yates on to Lodi crossing opportunity determined defending James and Palinha with it Pereira Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Emmanuel Dennis. Nicely cut out. Pereira. And Mitrovic. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Jesse Lingard. And back with Lingard. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Tete. Adarabayo. Read now. Space afforded him. And that was courageous, whatever way you look at it, Stuart. Well, he had to time that right. What a good piece of goalkeeping that is. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Can he play it in? Pulls it back. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Palinha. Now, let's see what they can do here. Pereira. Jesse Lingard slipping it through. And they have possession again. Pereira. Super tackle and they've won possession. Emmanuel Dennis. Kuyase now. Ryan Yates. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? 
We're following the deflection. A corner kick coming up here. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Number 20, William. Can someone get on the end of this? And first-class defending cleared off the line. Pereira. James. Read now. A glorious chance. It looks promising. Mitrovic. Oh, could be. Splendid defending. And an effective clearance. A meaty but fair challenge. And it will be a throw-in. Substitution time it is here. Willy Bolly. Well, we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Kuyate. Kuyate. It should be. A very timely interception. Really good challenge. Could be a chance to break here. Mitrovic. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, yes, a goal. Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Aurier. Well timed tackle. Well, it could be on for him here. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Effective looking pass. And the cross is very much on. Cutting the ball back. Aurier. Can he get one back? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.